<laughs> hey guys, just waiting for my laptop, I mean my iPad to uh, get started, okay. Okay guys, how you doing? Okay, they're coming back. Hi, Grandma Jo, how are you? How you doing? Jeremy's just getting stuff ready. Looking good today. Oh, hi, Dora, how are you? He's got to get his apron on. Jesus, Mom, you don't need anything else over <laughs> Hold on, guys. So what are you guys doing today? Doing okay, Dora? Cool. I was eating chicken. <laughs> and oh man, is it good. He can make the best chicken barbecued. Whew. Really good. You like, you, you like that? Come on over here. I don't know. Hold on. He's trying to just get his cutting board. Over. <laughs> hey everybody, how are you? <laughs> um, okay, so now what is it what is it called or is it their real name no well, there's not really a name for it um but it's definitely i guess i guess you would call it a pink sauce more than anything which is a mixture of a like a marinara and some kind of cream sauce in this case it's going to be like a parmesan cream sauce similar to an alfredo but not quite it'll be the mixture of those two to make that sauce but both of these sauces today you can use as individuals or whatever you want. So you don't have to mix the two if you don't like that. If you prefer just to have a simple marinara like I'm going to show you how to do really quick, you can do that. Or if you uh, rather just use a, this type of quick cream sauce, and I call these skillet sauces because <clears throat> they're all done in a skillet of some sort or a pan rather than a pot slow cooking them. So the uh, the cream sauce I'll be showing you today is literally takes you about 12, 13 minutes to make. So it's super fast, um, but it's a great base for a lot of other sauces to make primaveras, carbonara, all kinds of other stuff. So it's actually good to know because it's a really good base for simple sauces like that, super uh, quick. So um, the longest portion of this will be uh, just letting the marinara kind of come together and simmer. Um, I've already pre-prepped some stuff, uh, the mixture, for what we're going to stuff the shells and the cabbage leaves with. I don't know yeah, you if you're going to be able to see that. But. Yeah. Okay, so in that is ricotta cheese. It is mozzarella, parmesan, uh, julienne spinach, uh, some grilled chicken that I had made prior to. Uh, it was made with uh, olive oil, lemon juice, and uh, balsamic vinegar with some garlic, rosemary, and thyme, which is like a Tuscan uh, style marinade and grill. Um, and so that's what's in this mixture here. And then we'll stuff the shells and the cabbage leaves with that and put our sauce over it and uh, finish it off. Uh, so. Are we having cabbage? We're stuffing, oh, for the keto. For the keto. Okay, yeah. the cabbage for the keto. Yeah, that'll take the place of the pasta that uh, my wife unfortunately cannot eat. And it's very strange because she is Italian. And <laughs> for me being the one eating the pasta and her watching me is kind of sinful, I think, but that's, uh, you know, that's what we're doing. So, um, real quick, I'm going to make this real quick, uh, simple marinara real fast and kind of just show you, uh, my mom's going to be posting the ingredients. She got everything that you may need. I put uh, that, I'm going to put that on the here. thumbnail, but, um, but I can kind of give you a quick show of this. So, these are my favorite canned stuff to use. I make a whole different spaghetti sauce. It's all fresh stuff, uh, but it's about a nine hour cook for the sauce, nine to 10 hours, where this one's super fast. It's all canned stuff. 
Uh, Muti, this is a really good uh, chopped tomato. It is uh, all, both, everything I have here is uh, imported from Italy. Uh, this I usually get at an Italian grocery I go to. Um, Cento actually, they carry, this is the whole tomato I'll be using. Uh, they carry this now, the Albertsons, uh, Vaughn, Safeways, Kroger's. Uh, I'm not sure what stores you have in your area, but those are kind of carried in the bigger chains. But I can tell you this, get yourself to a good Italian market if you have it by you. Generally, this stuff is half the price. It's way cheaper than buying it in the, in the bigger chain and box stores. So anyhow, we're going to use two cans of the, the chop. Okay, hi Lori, hi Linda, hi Davida and Jeremy. Look, we're going to be using one can of the peeled Romas. Or these are actually uh, San Marzano tomatoes, very similar, but it's just a different region. So we're going to use those. Here's our other can of chopped. I love chopped. This is a really good, again, this is Muti. I love this tomato sauce as a base. If you guys ever can find this, it's really good. We don't have a lot of Italian delis around us, and I hate it, because as a kid, I remember that's where my grandmother, I mean, they always had an Italian deli they were at. But we don't have hardly any. So I put a good bunch of basil into, into this. How you doing, Susan? Hi, Rosemary. The top. Oh, yeah. And then what I do is I take one sweet onion. This is a Vidalia. Those will be in your stores now. But I take the whole onion. I only take a small portion of it out. And I put it into this with two whole garlic cloves and the basil. And then I just do a real simple seasoning here. It's just a little bit of Italian... Uh, Seasoning with salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic salt, and a pinch of sugar. Put that in there. Rosemary says she loves a man that can cook. <laughs> well, you'll, you'd be in love with him. And then you just go ahead and hit puree on this really fast. Said they're on their way home. <laughs> so then just take this and I'm gonna turn you guys a little bit because mom's not doing her job. <laughs> I'm reading. So then I go ahead and I'm just gonna pour this into this pot pan here. And then I'm gonna simmer this for about Usually I do it for about an hour, a little longer, but we can shorten it today, but not by much. You guys may have to end up talking to us for a bit if you're available. <laughs> if not, uh, you could always come back, I suppose. Um, but then, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. And they, well, they can watch it the replay, too. Uh, so, so I just get this going on low. Yes, they do, Lori. They have a bird. So we get I get that to start. Once it hits to a little bit of a rolling boil, then I'll turn it down low and let it simmer. Now, this is the key. I take this, the rest of this whole sweet onion, I just put it in the center of the sauce. Wow. And I let that just cook in that. And what will end up happening is all that sugar from the, the natural sugar from the onion will start to extrude and come out and get into that sauce. Then you discard the onion at the end. But that's a good that. little tip that actually I learned from an actual Italian, if you can imagine that. Okay, so let me read. Your mother-in-law said she's watching on their smart TV. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Joe. <clears throat> what kind of bird do you have? A sun conure. Grandma Joe says she loves the tile in the kitchen. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's been kind of the highlight of all these videos. That game time. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Hi, guys. 
Joe says hi. Hello, Josie. Oh, yeah, keep your fingers crossed, guys. I mean, honestly, if this thing gives me trouble like it did yesterday, I am going to be livid. That was a disaster. But, oh, what, in front of the camera. but what happened, um, I think what happened is the kids were up there. I think they were doing, um, you know, laptop. The TV was on. And um, my daughter-in-law did say that the lady across the street, sometimes she has to come outside, apparently, because the, uh, what, your Wi-Fi isn't that great around here or something? Well, the Connection. signal's kind of weird because of the area we live in. Yeah. A lot of um, hills, you know? So I don't know. I don't know if that's part of it, whatever. Oh, thanks, Kathy. <laughs> Does he do interior design? Well, actually, he is very good with um, knowing things that look good and colors, because he's the one that does all the artwork. He's the artist. He's very good, very good uh, artist. Actually, he did a really good caricature of uh, Joe, right? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Okay, so we're letting that cook. Yep. And, um, yeah, I'm just hoping this thing, I, you guys, I am sweating bullets thinking if this is going <laughs> to work, we're going to be off again. But at least we're landscaped today. Oh, you are going to do the apples, Grandma Joe? Cool. How's your husband feeling? Uh, Rosemary wants to know if you're for hire. And she wants to know if you're an interior designer as well. Well. <laughs> and he's humble. Humble. That's the biggest thing about him. You know. For hire? Eh, maybe. <laughs> Dear designer, no. No. No, but you do know your colors. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, what looks good. Sure. Well, all right. I guess. Your husband's um, not feeling good today, Joe. Oh. Hi, Linda, how are you? Hi, Dell. It's gonna be an Italian um, dish, which everything he makes. I'm telling you, the chicken that he made is unbelievable. And it was just skinless, boneless, and the way he does it, it is so moist and has so much flavor. Mine never turns out like that. Why? You gotta sear it and then cook it slow and low and you gotta baste it every five minutes for about an hour. Hour, hour, hour and 10 minutes. Hmm. But with my barbecue, I guess it's not... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's no wonder. It has one flame bar. Or... Oh, it's, yeah. It's not like his. You should see one time. If he does a grilling outside, he has a beast of a barbecue. It's not even normal. I mean, it is, how, how big is it? Seven, well, the grilling space is about six and a half feet long, but the whole thing in total is about seven and a half feet. It's about 800 pounds. 800, 800 pounds for a barbecue. Yeah. And he barbecues on a salt block, right? I was going to say a salt lick. <laughs> do? I don't know. It's kind of a horse thing, I think. Is it a horse? Yeah, rabbits. <laughs> I didn't mean a salt lick. Yeah, it's a Himalayan salt lick. <laughs> I did. Sorry about that. Or salt lick, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, oh wait, sounds... <laughs> oh, Jeremy, she has a question. Instead of wine and sauce could you add a good beer what kind of sauce are we talking about what kind of Who sauce is it is um th this is rosemary oh what kind of sauce rosemary ask him any kind of question he's pretty good with 
anything. I mean, even if it's not the dish she's making today. Hi, Dee, how are you? Yes, I hopefully to God. I uh, like a spaghetti or chili. Chili for sure. You know, you want to use like a good dark stout, something like that. Uh, spaghetti, I don't think so. Um, I actually prefer white wine in my spaghetti uh, in my longer sauce that I make. Um, I oh. prefer that over any kind of red. Really? I do red. You do white. I like white. Hmm. Yeah. Like Chardonnay, I like something that's buttery to go into it. So that's what I prefer. But chili for sure. You can use beer. No problem. And with some uh, sauces like for chickens and things like that, beer goes nice. Or if you want to use a beer, uh, uh, like a dark beer in place of a demi-glaze, instead of using wine, you can use beer for that as well. Um, so, yeah, you can use it for different sauces. Um, Debbie's watching us on her TV and her cat's watching us too. Crazy Debbie. She lives right around, well, well, no. Debbie, you're in Riverside, right? But, um, oh, who was it that was here the other day and she lives in Temescal? Okay. Remember, I got it right, not Temescule. Yep. <laughs> when he first said where he lived, I go, Temescule? And he goes, Mom, it's not a mule. Never gets it right. I, I don't know. I don't know why I do that. Riverside County, yes. You guys, who was it that lived in, uh, lives, uh, or they have a house here? I can't remember if it was Sherry or... I can't remember now. You were at Hobby Oh, I almost said, how did you get into Hobby Lobby on Sunday? I forgot it's Monday. So what'd you get there, Linda? Oh, Lori Stewart wants to know, do you have a keto pizza recipe? I do not, but I know already how to do it. I haven't done it yet, but it's uh, making with a cauliflower crust. Okay, guys, listen. <clears throat> the cauliflower crust, I have not done yet, but I do know this. I believe Trader Joe's makes one to make it easy on yourselves. Um, I always try to make things prior to buying them pre-made, like you can get the cauliflower rice and all that stuff already kind of pre-made and frozen, but I think it's too simple to make to in making it fresh. But um, yeah, that's one thing my wife definitely wants me to try is doing that cauliflower crust. So I'm gonna have to put that together for the pizza and we'll post it for you guys. I think it would be really good myself. I love, do you do cauliflower mash? Yeah. Oh, I love cauliflower mash. What do you put in yours? Parmesan, sour cream. Um, that's really it to, to thicken it. You know what I put? Salt and pepper. I don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know? Do I want to know. What do you put in this? Nothing. Nothing? Butter. Probably pretty good. Butter and salt and pepper. Taking it to the next level <laughs> as usual. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, I mean, I don't know what to put. I just put butter and salt and pepper. Yeah. Like you put a potato. For like Asian, like you could do uh, cauliflower fried rice and use that in place of, and you can put like carrots, scallions. You gotta put things that'll pretty cook pretty fast and hold up to it. So you gotta be a little limited. You can use like frozen vegetables, like the peas and carrots for like a, I guess, more Caucasian version of uh, fried rice, kind of much what we're probably used to, um, and onion and things like that. And the cauliflower goes real nice with that little soy sauce, um, little butter. That sounds good. Um... I always so, put bacon in mine. <laughs> bacon in? I do bacon fried rice all the time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I've never had it. Well, it's delicious. Oh, thanks. I never I think it. you have, just don't remember. No. <laughs> Jeremy. Sorry. I'm he's joking. He's joking. I'm sorry. God. Um, no, I don't think I really have ever had that. And I, I thought you were talking. I think you had it at Jason's house. I did the bacon fried rice, the bombing. Oh, yes, I did. I did. <laughs> I forgot. Um, but I thought you were talking about the cauliflower mash you put bacon in. Oh, no. No, no, no. The fried rice. Yeah. The cauliflower fried rice I put bacon in. And I did have that. 
No, you had regular fried rice, but yes. So I really didn't have it. Not the cauliflower. So you made fun of me thinking I forgot. It's because really you weren't being clear. <laughs> she, she said, I never had that. I just got that sample of bacon in my fried rice. She said, I never had that. I said, did she have? Never right. Had. And then you Sorry. said it wasn't adjacent anyway. Confusion.